Hello, 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 hello. Was I ready for all these people to be here this early? Maybe not. <laughs> hello, hello, Lissa. Hello, Sub Sum. Let's put on some music in the background while I say hello. How are y'all doing tonight? Today, tonight, tonight. Did y'all have work today? There we go. Good evening to you as well, Bailey. Ugh, I forgot to hit refresh. You were off today. Shout out to that. First and foremost, shout out to you, Lisa Marie, for being the first in chat. And also, um, oh, that was, that's in the beat. <laughs> so funny. Um, and also for all the support. Hold up. There we go. All the support that you've shown. I always appreciate it. I hope your day slash evening is going well. Of course, shout out to SubSum94. Oh, you were playing Mario Kart? Was I playing? Yeah, that was, that was, I was on that, wasn't I? Other way. A little bit, I was. That was fun. Yeah. I was, I didn't remember if that was on stream or not, but it was. Spanking our booties. Yeah, was I too harsh? Maybe I should have switched back to Gold Mario after 200cc. <laughs> um, did you beat Nuts and Bolts? I am good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just oh, I gotta send that video. I gotta you. Thanks for reminding me I gotta post that video that helped me get good. It's 90 minutes, but if you watch it, it will help you get good um, You have not yet nice. I played a little bit of that last night cuz Franny I was playing Banjo Kazooie Let me turn this down and Franny was like you should play nuts and bolts So I did a little bit, but I think by then he was playing Mario Kart with you Hello to you Yoshi jr. Bailey. What were you playing recently? Are you still playing um, Parasite Eve? How you doing, Yoshi? It's good to see you again. I was thinking about you earlier today. Isn't it funny how those things happen? You think about people and then then, then your life reminds you they exist. Peppa Pig. Oh, you're playing Peppa Pig tonight. Hold on. If you've never watched The White Lotus, before we get into the stream, I hope I can find this scene. Um, the White Lotus is such a good show, but there's a reference to Peppa Pig on The White Lotus. Oh man, this clip is not anywhere on... Really? It's not on YouTube? Like, if I type the White Lotus Peppa Pig, why isn't this not on YouTube? It's like a short. Oh my god. Spare me. Okay, this this is pretty funny though. I think it's funny. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch it. How's everybody doing? Let's put this on the screen real quick. Let's put it on the screen real quick. I know which button is the web browser. Oops. Guess who I am? Uh, watch, watch. Peppa Pig. I'm Monica Vitti. Monica Vitti is dead. But yes. Guess who I am? Uh, watch, watch. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. So if you ever hear me say it like that, that's what I'm thinking about. Peppa Pig. I love that shit. All right. Has, is anybody able to guess what the surprise GameCube game that we're playing starting tonight is? Wacky tacos are not garnish for my varnish when you say yellow. Hmm. Is there, is this like a code? I don't like riddles. My foot stuck. Sleeper agent activated. Google, show me this guy's balls, please. I need that, I need that clip. I might make that a, um, I might make that just like a, um, like an alert that people can do. Google, show me this guy's balls, please. Oops. Google, show me this guy's balls, please. 
There we go. I love that. I fucking love that. I should clip that and make that an alert until I can get a, a beep boop board. The Haunted Mansion. It's not the Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion might be a bonus game this week, though. We might do the Haunted Mansion. But not right now. Hello, Simply Day. Shout out to you. What have you been playing recently? The Sims 4. That's right. How's that going for you? You know who I was just watching play The Sims 4? Is mayonnaise an option? Is mayonnaise a game? Mahogany Maxine has returned to Twitch.tv and she was playing The Sims 4 earlier and I was watching her. Are you doing any like uh, challenges or anything? I don't know. I don't know that much about The Sims. I just know that you, you make people and then, and then you make houses and then you put the people in the houses and you're like, hey, go to the bathroom. I don't do challenges. Okay. I respect that. You just do, do you just do like gameplay? Are you making f like friends and families? Making them kiss? That's, what, that's just what I do when I play that game. I just make people kiss. I don't burn people alive. I burn people and drown them in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Anyway, let's play another Zelda type beat. I literally typed Zelda type beat into, here's one I think was funny. I don't think it's necessarily good, but I think it's a pretty funny Zelda type beat. It's funny how you can just type, like, X type beat in YouTube and something comes up. Builds, create a sim, and then just play the game. Okay. It's just like, I feel like I would hear this on, like, hold on. I feel like I would just, like, hear this on TikTok, you know? I should put the video up of what the video is. For the full effect. I'm playing Zelda Wand of Gamelon, my favorite GameCube game! Zelda Wand of Gamelon, my favorite game on the Nintendo GameCube. I fucked up my whole desk. I fucked up my whole desk! You ever fuck up your whole desk? You ever just pull your whole desk apart? Fuck! No? You never do that? Just me? Just me? My phone is obsessed with changing the word play to okay. Okay, yes, I'm not the only one. Nice. Oh, my phone. Do you have like an iPhone? Because if you do, I have a recommendation, but I fucking hate autocorrect. It's so annoying. I used to use SwiftKey, but I don't. But like downloading a third party keyboard is always sometimes a good solution if you're annoyed with autocorrect. Like, I used to use SwiftKey. I like SwiftKey a lot, but then SwiftKey got bought out, I think, by Microsoft, and I didn't like it as much anymore. And then there's Gboard, which is made by Google. Gboard is still pretty good. Um, but there are third-party keyboards that, in my in, in my humble opinion, are better than the stock Apple keyboard. That's just my opinion. Just one streamer's opinion. It's Gary time! Gary to snail 80. Gary was speed running Super Mario 64 and also playing other stuff on Friday. Okay, get this out of here. How you doing, Gary? We're playing a surprise GameCube game and I still haven't revealed what it is. We've had a closer guess, though though neither God of War nor Halo uh, might qualify for. I'm sorry, I'm still looking through these Zelda type beats. Here's one produced by Young Mango. Oh, I like this vibe. It is not the Pirates of the Caribbean game. Oh, that's a cool producer drop. I like that. I am going to play a GameCube game. It's a very heavy bass, young Mango. My subwoofer is getting blown out right now, Mango. This is a g I like this, though. Is it the, uh, um, uh, um, uh, Batman Begins? It's not Batman Begins. The mystery GameCube game. Y'all are, are great guessers. Paper Mario. It's not Paper Mario. I do have a copy of Paper Mario. It's not Paper Mario. I'm guessing it will be a game on the GameCube. <laughs> 
It's Mario Prime. Yeah, you go first person and you shoot water out your neck. It's not melee, by the way, Gary. So don't guess melee. <laughs> it's not sunshine. It's not Mario Sunshine. Hmm. We think we has it. We thinks we has it, does we? Hmm. You're very close. Harvest Moon, no. But Bailey, I will say, when um, I do have Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. I actually have a copy, but I lost, I lost my manual. When Harvest Moon, no, sorry. When Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life comes out, I will be streaming the fuck out of that. So keep an eye out. Were any hints given yet? It's a Nintendo game. It's like made and published by Nintendo. I mean, I did give, I've given some hints by saying what's, what's close and what is not a game. It's not Animal Crossing. Though I do have a Marsh fact about Animal Crossing, which is that if you put the original Animal Crossing disc in your GameCube, you can load up Animal Crossing, take the disc out, and put it back in its case. Because the GameCube loads the entirety of Animal Crossing to RAM because it's an N64 port. Whoa, Franny's here. Let's drink. Hello, Loki. Hey, listen. How's Franny B doing? It's Glover's at N64 game. Oh, yeah. Franny was playing Breath of the Wild. Franny, I have two Bomberman games, Bailey, but it's not Bomberman. You, okay, so I'm doing a GameCube variety stream tomorrow night, because you're just, y'all just naming games, and it sounds like y'all might want to see some bunch of GameCube games. So, if you check out the Discord, you'll see all the GameCube games that I have ready to go, and tomorrow night we'll do a GameCube variety stream. How about that? It'll make everybody happy. Also, shout out to Loki from the, the unnecessarily long channel name playing fucking Slime Rancher, which is awesome. Slime Rancher is a lot of fun. Is it in that list? It is, but it's it's hidden. It's the mystery game. But we're about to find out what the mystery game is. The suspense is over. The games are going to begin because the game... Wait, I want to... I wanna... Also, somebody's... Can you hear that person outside yelling? There's a person outside my window yelling. Not at me. All right. First of all, it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Preparing the Krabby Patty. We're not preparing the Krabby Patty though. I meant to cut it off, but then I started the emulation and I fucked it up. Anyway, da -da 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 -da! Oh, don't tell me it froze. It's Zelda. You did guess this. You correctly guessed The Legend of Zelda. It's not... Was Shrek's voice... Also, I don't have any fucking Spongebob games on here, though I, there's one Spongebob game I've thought about streaming. It's a PC game, but there actually is a Spongebob game I've thought about streaming. Put a, put a, if you have, are there any Spongebob emotes? If you have any Spongebob emotes, drop your Spongebob emotes in chat if you want to see me stream a Spongebob game. This is indeed, it's not Wind Waker. It's not Skyward Sword. It's not Ocarina of Time. And sure as shit ain't Breath of the Wild. 
Oh, woo! It's Franny! Let's go. It's Zelda time. Our memory card doesn't have any save data. Let's fix that. I can make this sound a little bit louder, can't I? Um... Yeah, that's better. Do you know why the Wii version is flipped? Yeah, I was there when it happened. They, um... Cause, yeah, cause Link has left hand. Link is left handed, but then people playing the Wii version would want to play it right handed, so... Instead of, it would take a lot of work to flip, like, Link, I guess, and all the character animations. So instead, they flipped the whole map. <laughs> and the whole game is just played... <laughs> reverse. What's up, Suki? Twilight Princess. Who's played Twilight Princess before? I've teased this game for a long time, and it's finally here. Gee, what should we name a character who turns into a wolf? The text is not backwards, no. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Ah woo! What should we name the horse? Oh no, that's me. Do you have a um? Ah woo! Do you have an ah woo emote yet? Yes! How did you get the pref uh, the prefix Franny by the way instead of it's Fran? Cause I have fucking it's the it sucks. I just want Marsh. Anyway, okay, if we're good with Franny69, let's go. Now we have- we have after 420 and Franny69. Or is it also after 69? I don't fucking remember. What should we name our horse? Lasagna. Why lasagna? I'd rather name a horse Garfield than lasagna. Because, hmm, in the UK, lasagna is made from horse meat. That's disgusting. Wait, they accidentally served lasagna? Ew, I thought, oh no, what do you mean, how do you do that by accident? How do you do that by accident? How's that accidental? How's, how is that? I don't like that, I'm not naming this horse lasagna. We're naming this horse Garfield. This horse fucking hates Mondays. But it loves Liz Wait, how do you spell Garfield? Yeah. There we go. That's gross. I would cry if I had a horse spice. I do not want to Google this. Also, what's what's with Summer? Oh, you want me to name the horse Summer? Oh, no. No, Franny. No. No. No, thank you. We're going to name it Garfield. <laughs> Calm down. Take it to the DMs. I could ne- I could eat a human, never an animal. Yeah, if you're a vegetarian- Thank you. Thanks for explaining it, Summer. So the whole chat could get it. I'm glad. Stop! I don't want to read about the horse meat scandal. Please stop posting about it now, please. Alright. I feel happier with Garfield. I'm sorry, Franny. Yeah, let's do Garfield. Summer, I'll name a character after you soon. I thought about naming the girl in Pokemon Coliseum after you. I'll name a character after you soon. Not one that's being ridden by anybody. Oh yeah, there's no voice acting in this game because it's from 2006. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness at Dusk Falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. I'm gonna play this game in, in dark darkness. 
Is this as low as my thing will go? Yeah. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. <laughs> I have a f I have a favor to ask of you, Franny. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. But then I watched that movie. That really freaked me out. You ever see Jake Gyllenhaal? Those big old eyes. I didn't like that. Why 69 though? Because it's a very nice number. I'm going to turn off this lamp. Oh, it's dark in here now. 69 is like half of 128. I don't think the math checks out there. Wait, let me do that in my head. 69 is actually 138. Right? Is that right? Hey, mental math. Let's get there. <laughs> Your math is wrong. <laughs> no, Colonel Sanders. You're wrong. Yes. It was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? Oh, he looks more like a little yeehaw. You have never been to Hyrule, right? Lynx is like, yeah, uh-huh. Or sorry, Franny. In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is Castletown, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. Hey. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. Okay. <laughs> He's just like head empty, no thoughts. Look at that water. It's Zelda time! Oh, Freeny. I love this music, though. Oh, we had to load for a second. Look, it's Garfield. How has Link never been to Hyrule? No, Gary, this is a different Link. This is a new story. This takes place about 100 years after Ocarina of Time. And about a X amount of years before Breath of the Wild. For any of you newcomers to the series. Every Zelda game besides Breath of the Wild takes place before Breath of the Wild. Wait, Gary, do you not know that? Link, it's not like the same guy in every game. That's why there's like Toon Link and stuff. Yeah, the game timeline is really fucking confusing. There's only a few games that are like specific about where they take place. Like for example, Skyward Sword is the first one and then Ocarina of Time and then both Wind Waker and Twilight Princess take place after Ocarina of Time in different timelines, which is what really gets confusing. And then Breath of the Wild is at the end. She's kidnapping our horse. What the hell? Yeah, I know the timeline pretty, like, the official- Hey, Freddy! You there? I know, like, the official timeline very well, but I, um, I was just naming the ones that are, like, that are very specific in the games about where they take place. Like, it's important that this game takes place. Breath of the Wild is in, like, a unified timeline, because it takes stuff from every game, and it doesn't really make any sense. I'm like... <laughs> Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? It's time to herd those goats, Franny. They ain't listen to me lately. I love giving people that kind of voice, I guess. Look, this guy's face has like five polygons. You're telling me they're different people all named Link that look exactly the same and do the exact same thing and talk the same. It's written into the lore, though, why that happens, Gary. Also, yeah, they don't talk. 
That's fair. They don't talk the same. Why? Okay, so this is spoilers for The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword if you ever want to play that game. Um, basically, there is, yeah, there's like a spirits that reincarnate um, based on the, th the Triforce's three attributes of courage, wisdom, and power. And those reincarnations take the forms of Link, Zelda, and Ganon. It used to be more complicated than that, and I kind of wish it wasn't boiled down to just that. Yeah, that too. And that's how, like, the Elder Scrolls feels, Bailey. Hey, Ma Maxine, are you done streaming? How was your first stream back? I shouted you out earlier. Monet's, am I right? M monies? Hey, where's Garf? Oh, Mondays. Yeah, I fucking hate Mondays, man. My Heidi Maxine is back streaming, so check her out. You gotta. Go <laughs> proof when Jim wakes up. But, like, what I'm saying, it's like the Elder Scrolls is like, though it's literally like, it's just like Legends and like the Legend of Zelda. I feel the same way. It's like a story being told. Please tell me we can invert the camera. Please, Nintendo. No! Nintendo! They do talk the same. They all say, eh. Yeah, that's true. They're all, they're all non-verbal. I kind of don't. Look, I'm, I'm practicing my... Wait. There we go. Hey, fangirl. How's it going? Are you a fan of this game, too? Yeah. I guess, but that's also how... I, I always took, like, the Elder Scrolls games as also, like, a legend. You know? But that's definitely how I feel about Zelda. It's how I've always felt about Zelda, too. And it's just, like, you know, retellings. And I choose to... so and Because there is, like, conflicting lore and stuff. Nice. So, yeah, basically, you know, this Link... And they're not all the same, because they have different attributes. They have different characterization and stuff. But, yeah, this Link is basically... He has the Triforce on his left hand. You can see it there. He is a reincarnation of the Hero of Time, basically. And he's a, a little farm boy that's been blessed by the uh, the Triforce. Reading them, you... Re oh, I hate that. That's terrible. Hey. Come on, now. Hurry up and bring Garfield with you. Yeah, I love Link too. They did a good job of making that 2D area look 3D. Yeah, Franny, how was the rest of your experience playing um, Breath of the Wild for the first time? The graphics? For this game, I'm basically playing the best-looking GameCube game. Link's so strong. What's Dangerous 3? The Elder Scrolls. Like, the item in the game, the Elder Scrolls. By the way, this is the whole, the whole stream. It's going to be me. Learning about what they say without actually reading them. But then, if... If you learn what they say, like, it's not the words, it's the knowledge, right? Oh, we can get a little upskirt action. That's nice. We can do first person or we can do upskirt. Also, what happens if we... Make the game widescreen. Does it look all shitty? Oh, we can't. I thought we could. Oh, wait. Brightness slash screen ratio. Make the adjustments on the television. Oh, no. I'm not doing all that. Hey, look at that. 
I, I think I cheesed that puzzle, but I also have played this game before. Look how fucking pretty this game is! Oh. Hi, Franny. Now see... Would you really... Never mind. The Moth Priests are the ones that studies and read the Elder Scrolls. I... Y'all, I don't know shit about the Elder Scrolls. I've played so many Elder Scrolls games. I don't read. I play video games to get away from reading. Anyway, let me read some of this dialogue. Right, Franny? I've only played Breath of the Wild so far. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you respond to what I said, Franny? You probably did. No, you didn't. I said, how was playing the rest of Breath of the Wild so far? Did you get off the plateau? It forces all knowledge in as fast as you can read it and understand it. But if you do these special tricks, like, oh, my God. I know it's not real, but, like, that just sounds exhausting. I washed Garfield for you. I just gave him some lasagna and he eased on up. Oh, great. Wait, you want to, do you, are you saying you want to play the version with motion controls? Breath of the Wild is the best, worst Zelda game. No, it's the best. I mean, in my opinion. I shouldn't just say no, but in my opinion, it's the best. Garfield is a girl, too. <laughs> so you have to treat her nice like one. I am so glad that we did not name our fucking horse Summer. I am so glad. Oh, but listen, Franny. Could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Garfield likes. Not me. Garfield. We're going to get a creepy view if we... Yeah! <laughs> Look at that anime girl shit. The anime girl becomes unhinged angle. It's better than most Zelda games. But didn't you say you've only played Breath of the Wild? I don't know. We, I think we've had this conversation. I don't agree. I don't... Because we've just been playing um, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And that's a game that betrays ev almost everything. Not everything. But that's a game that betrays almost everything that Banjo-Kazooie is about. While at the same time having dialogue that's also like, Fuck platformers. Fuck collected thons. Fuck you if you wanted a sequel to Banjo-Kazooie. Breath of the Wild is not like that. Breath of the Wild is perfectly in the tradition of The Legend of Zelda. It's just, like, slightly different. I get that people, and you might be one of them, I get that people are upset that there aren't, like, traditional dungeons, and that for some people that might make it, like, less like a Zelda, like, a, what they would expect from a Zelda game. But I feel that the shrines, and to a lesser extent, I think they whiffed it. I think it's probably the, like, you know, ding, ding off a point for this. But I think the, what are they called? The Divine Beasts, like, were swinging a miss. I think they could have done a better job making those replacements for dungeons. But overall, I don't think that that was a problem. I know a lot of people have problems with the weapon degradation mechanic. I don't have a problem with that. I think it's great. Um, and I think it's okay for series to evolve, too. Because, like, Zelda was the same. Um, hold on one second. Um, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to put on a, a song or something. <laughs> I'm going to put on like a Lost Woods type beat. I'll be right back. Like right, right back. See how quick that was? Oh, my stream's not starting. Silly. No, I'm back. See, I'm here. Don't worry. Don't even worry. I 
I feel like, um, let's just put the game back on. I feel like Breath of the Wild does a good job in its own um, different way at collecting items and doing dungeons. Instead of having, you know, eight, six, four big dungeons with lots of puzzles and big treasure chests that you collect one item in, or, you know, one small item and one big item, it has 120 dungeons that are just like every puzzle that would be in a dungeon is just like its own little thing, its own little puzzle box, and you get a little reward for doing it. And I think that's fine as an evolution. Because the game, they couldn't keep making Ocarina of Time again. It was getting stale. Maybe for some people it wasn't. I love Zelda, and for me it was getting fucking stale. I love that Twilight Princess is Ocarina of Time again. I love, Ocar I love Ocarina of Time, and I love Twilight Princess. I love that Wind Waker has a lot of elements from Ocarina of Time while still doing its own thing graphically. Skyward Sword is really where it loses me. And I know that game has its fans, but that game is just so like all of the worst aspects, in my opinion, of all of the previous 3D Zelda games were present in Skyward Sword. And I think Nintendo took note of that because the first Zelda game that they made afterwards, um, A Link, uh, A Link Between Worlds, w went completely in the opposite direction. And it was an exploration of nonlinearity that hadn't been in the series since the original game and arguably went further than the original game in exploring nonlinearity. And without that game, which I feel like certainly warrants comparisons to A Link to the Past, I don't think it's so divergent from what people expect from a Zelda game, but that game laid the foundation for what they would do with Breath of the Wild. I don't know. The shiny blue and stone stuff was in Skyward Sword, though. And also, kind of... Twilight Princess, too. That was an aesthetic that they had already established in 3D Zelda games. A Link Between Worlds was actually made and designed before Skyward Sword was released. I don't believe that that's true. Because Skyward Sword came out before the 3DS existed. I don't think that that's true. Citation needed. I don't think the whole aesthetic of Breath of the Wild was blue and stone, though. Like, I don't agree. Like, it has all those different biomes. Like, it has four major biomes that make up the majority aesthetic of the game. If you're talking about the dungeons, I guess fine, but, like... I don't know. Zelda is not a fucking dungeon crawler game at the end of the day. Zelda... The Legend of Zelda is not a dungeon crawling series. The Legend of Zelda is a game about exploring fantastical worlds, and sometimes you do dungeons. No, it's not. It's not. The Legend of Zelda is not about doing dungeons at its core. The Legend of Zelda is about exploring nature. That's not from me. That's not even from the game design. That's from the creator of the game and the people who make them. The core of The Legend of Zelda is about exploring nature and being surprised at what you find. And part of that is exploring caves and other, you know dungeon-like environments but the idea of exploring dungeons is not about them being dungeons like fucking diablo and i get you know there's something to be said for like sure there could have been different aesthetics for you know there could have been at least four different aesthetics for the um for the shrines based on where they were in the world that would have at least made them more diverse but there's such short segments of gameplay that i think it's like excusable for them all to be themed around the ancient thing but that is what pokemon is about <laughs> pokemon is about collecting bugs and and documenting animals <laughs> that is what pokemon is about yeah and now the new pokemon games are bad because they stopped being about that they started all being about competitive battling, which is not what the core of Pokemon is about. See fucking Pokemon Black and White, games in the series that say Pokemon is not about battling. But the graphics, you're right, Franny. The graphics in Pokemon are so good. Anyway, let's go back to this game. Enough of me yelling about Zelda. Oh, I gotta play that horse song for Zelda. Franny, why'd you, when are you gonna play Zelda? Uh, when are you gonna play Pokemon again? It's, but that's not what it's about. I don't think that's a weird take. It's, like, 
dungeon crawling, not dungeon crawling, but like dungeons are an element of Zelda game design. And in my opinion, that element is present in Breath of the Wild. But if you ask me what Zelda is about, I wouldn't say exploring dungeons. It's such a nice melody. Carfield looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. Yep, I'm not regretting naming this character Garfield. But don't you make her do too much, okay? The top wiki for Zelda, literally called Zelda. Okay, that's fine. I'm not denying that people like playing dungeons in Zelda and that that's an appeal for players and that it's part of the game design. What I'm saying is that what The Legend of Zelda is about is not exploring dungeons. It's about exploring, period. And dungeons are a component of exploration. And the way that dungeons factor into exploration in Breath of the Wild is the satisfaction that you get from exploring and finding new shrines, and then the satisfaction you get from doing the shrine and solving the puzzle. Now, are there flaws in this system? Yes, some of the puzzles are redundant. Some of the puzzles are too easy. Some of the puzzles are too obtuse. We just established that all 120 of those shrines have the exact same aesthetic. Do I necessarily think this is a problem? No, the video game portal features a bunch of things and most of the game uses the same aesthetic. Yes, at the end of the game, you get you know the dilapidated aesthetic, whatever, but most of at least portal one, every test chamber is the same aesthetic. Skyward Sword is all about what you're saying. If Skyward Sword was about exploration, it would be such a fun video game. I forgot to go to Link's house. Fuck the water levels, though. Hey, that's a good take. That's a take we can all agree on. The water dungeon in this game sucks shit. It's worse than the one in Ocarina of Time, in my opinion. Look at this house. Have you played Breath of the Wild, Loki? Yeah, we got a basement. I don't think anything important is ever... Oh, no, we leave the lantern to explore Link's basement. I forgot. It actually, like, doesn't let you explore without the lantern. All right, yeah, we'll chat later. There were so many dungeons in Skyward Sword. I've never played a Zelda game. Breath of the Wild is a good place to start, Gary. You have a Switch, right? I'm really excited for Tears of the Kingdom. We can look out the window! I'm glad we went back in the house. 45 minutes in. Oh. My camera just disconnected. Hold on. Hold up. Why'd this happen? How we all doing? Why'd this happen? What the hell? I don't know why that happened. Am I a ghost? Am I a ghost again? Yeah. Hold on. There we go. If I if I ever get a job, I want to buy a Switch, maybe a PS4 too. Definitely not a PS5 because I wouldn't sell my kidney. How much do PS5s go for now down there? All right, let's go. Oh, I'm just looking out the window. There's our horse. Aww, we love the horse. So the link in this game, Gary, if you're still here, the thing with, oh yeah, you're, you just said you've never played a Zelda game. Um, in this game, Link's whole thing is that he is really good with animals. 5K real, oh yeah, you did say that, Suki. That is nuts though. I remember when the PS3 came out, they said you should work two jobs to afford a PS3. And then two years later, the global like economic recession happened. Oops. Uh, what are we? Oh, we're hoarding. We're hoarding. We're hurting uh, goatses. So each Link has like a different attribute. So like Link in Ocarina of Time is called the Hero of Time, and he is good at manipulating time. Uh, Link in The Wind Waker, Toon Link in Smash, is the hero of winds, and he manipulates the wind. And Link in this game, some people call him the hero of beasts, but that is an unofficial title. But his whole thing is that he's really good with animals. 
Uh, Skyward Sword Link is the original Hero of Legend. And then Link in Breath of the Wild, I don't know what you would call him. The Hero of Wild? Like, I don't... He's not the, really the hero of anything. He's just a goofball who ends up having to save the world. Though his whole thing in that game was that he was already a legendary hero, and they put him to sleep for 100 years. I love this part. We're just going to hang out in this village a little bit. Hey, everybody. Let's talk to you on the horse. Ah, if it isn't young Franny, are you going to close down the ranch for the day? I just closed the shop myself. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. I'd better lock up tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that good-for-nothing husband to do anything right. <laughs> Poor guy. What'd he do? He's like, what I do? Come on, Dad. You can't catch a silly little monkey. Uh, well, no. No, I can't. Oh, listen to us, Babylon. I didn't mean to keep you. All right, off to work with you. Are any links the same? Yes. Um, I mean, people here buy it in like 24X. The PS5? Yeah, so, um... I mean, the most obvious one is they're making Breath of the Wild 2. They're making Tears of the Kingdom. And from the looks of it, that's the same link as in Breath of the Wild. Because it's a sequel. Any Zelda game that's like a sequel, like uh, Majora's Mask, is the same link as Ocarina of Time. Um, Link's Awakening is the same link as Link to the Past. And Phantom Hourglass is the same link as Wind Waker. Wee. Hey oh, I don't want to... I just want to clip-clop around. Just want to clip-clop. Just want to clip-clop. Just clip-clop a little bit. Just clipping and clopping. Yeah. Rad that lasagna. Oh. Hi, Franny. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know? All I have left to do is paint it. So get ready for fishing. Good evening, Franny. This is a lovely sunset, is it not? It is kind of you to spend time with my husband, you know. It gives me time for myself. Oh, do you have to go put the livestock to bed now? Time to yourself, huh? Hey. Ah, great timing, Franny. There was something I had forgotten to tell you. My son Colin is making a fishing rod, so the two of you can play together. He should finish it today, so you come get it at the house tomorrow. What about the old ones, like the old 2D ones? So yeah, like I said, Link's Awakening is a sequel to, um... A Link to the Past. And then actually, weirdly enough, Zelda 2 is the same Link, but a different Zelda. Which is weird. To the original Zelda. Oh, Franny. Looks like you're going to help Thado. Good job. He headed up to the ranch ahead of you. You go finish up your chores before the sun goes down. It's twilight right now. Really? Yes. So in Zelda 2, the plot of Zelda 2 is that you've rescued Princess Zelda from Ganon. But the original Princess Zelda has been sealed in a tomb. And Ganon has, aw has awoken or stolen or done something to that Princess Zelda. So now you have to rescue her. Yeah. Zelda, the original Zelda games are very hard. You need like a map or a guide or something to them. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Franny. It only took you 45 minutes. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how's about you and Garfield? Heard them quick into the barn real quick, like quickly. We ain't got much time. So you think you can do it for me? Yes, like buying in 24X, you buy one small portion. Oh, 24. Oh, I see. Okay. Like, uh, people do, like, payment plans and stuff here, too, a lot. Much obliged there, bud. Okay, then. Go on. I heard all these little scams in the barn for me. Yay! Oops. Dang, if it ain't a good thing y'all came. Okay, then. Heard them goats in the barn with Garfield. Yeah. 
All right. Whoop. 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 Look, this is totally exemplary of the kind of gameplay that we will be doing in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. A lot of people complain about the opening of this game being mini games where you herd goats. And you know what? From a game design perspective, they're not entirely wrong. But you know what? It's a little bit fun to herd goats. Game design in like 2005 and 2006 was just getting like so excessive and self-indulgent. It was like, why not start the game with them herding goats? They've played Zelda before, but you know what they've never done? Herd goats. Harvest Moon, Wonderful Life, sold a million copies. Why not make them herd goats? Yeah, I do not ever recommend starting with Zelda on the NES. Though, um, if you have the Switch, A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo is a better place to start. If you want to play the older Zelda games. And there's Ocarina of Time, too. Twilight Princess! It's fucking embarrassing! It's fucking embarrassing! 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 Oh, well, that's embarrassing. <sighs> it's for you, bud. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, embarrassing. I hope you had a good day. <laughs> Whoops. Let me put that down. You had a good day at work? That's, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. Is the future I can see. That's so embarrassing. It's embarrassing to me. Anyway, that's embarrassing. <coughs> Franny, Garfield, much obliged to both y'all. <coughs> I'd cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you. So just sit back and relax, bud. <coughs> Speaking of bud, I'm going to go back to my cabin. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. But uh, how about today? Do you want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them fences set up. He <laughs> didn't even wait for my answer. Okay, yeah, Franny. Let's ride. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry that took so long. Okay then, y'all ride all you want. Oh, you're <laughs> for riding? <laughs> y'all get tired of riding. Just jump the gate and head back in the village, okay, bud? Nobody else remember me. I'm like Final Fantasy X2. Or X2. Sorry. I have. Fuck! No! Oh, shit! This is why we have to practice. This is actually important. I'm glad this isn't timed. Suki, did I miss one of your chats? I'm sorry if I did. I can't ride for shit. You ever been riding? Wee! Yeah, so horseback is a big part of this game. You other people. Oh, okay. Never ever. I did it once, but the session, the day of the session, it had like rained, so the ground was really soft, and so we didn't really get to. We just like walked them. It was pretty disappointing. Ain't nothing cooler than fence jumping done just right. When y'all are approaching a fence, uh, yeah, uh, y'all get tired of riding. Go ahead and jump the gate to head back to the village. I'll put everything away. All right, bye then. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, you get to ride around in a car. They were like, you get a horse. Final Fantasy 13 2. Damn, not even. No, Suki, you're like Lightning Returns. Do you want to save? Okay. Unicorns are cool. You're not weird for liking unicorns. Ow! To blah, 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 blah. Enjoy dinner. I want to know what's for dinner when you come back. Thanks for the lurk. Look at those trees. Oh, these fuckers. Oh, shit. Hey, hey wake up, Fanny. It's morning already. Fucking hate that kid. Well, okay. Oh, uh, oops, I mean... <laughs> Sorry, I have to do my best Link impression. Oh, but Link's Franny in this game. Oi! I guess I better get outside, innit? 
bangers and mash football Tuesday <laughs> what's in my socks yogurt so what do you call gogurt over there do you call it gogurt or does it have like a different name chuta I'm gonna play a first person chuta oh you don't have gogurt What's the weirdest, um, I remember one time I watched Doctor Who and they were saying something and I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? And then I put on the subtitles and I was like, no way is that how they pronounce that. I can't remember what it was though. Oh Fanny, did you hear? <laughs> They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot. They wonder how powerful it is. I, I need. I must try it. And not aluminium. Aluminium makes a lot of sense. I'm terrible at a British accent, so that was better. Same. Lol. That wasn't just my accent, though. That was my impression of Franny's accent. <laughs> but that's why I started saying Chuta. First person Chuta. Uh, Tallow, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? Oh, I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. This is like those 90s cartoons where, like, they just did whatever voices, so you get, like... A kid with a, a horrible British accent and then a girl with a horrible Valley Girl accent, but they live in the same hometown. That's the vibe that I'm doing right now. Uh, you know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Oh, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. I forgot Franny is the UK. How could you forget? Come on, Beth. We just want to look at it a little. So can you get it? The slingshot from the shop? Yeah, and if you can't do that, let's just trade families, okay? Knock it off. That's the end of that discussion. What are you doing with my horse, kid? Hi. Hi, Franny. You have the day off work today, right? So, I finished the fishing rod I was making. Franny, I figured I'd give it to you first thing in the morning, but... My dad said... You just waited till Franny comes to get it. So, I didn't bring it to you. Dads are stupid. Autumn and winter are awful. Yeah, I've never, um, my, pff, no, Franny, not the sock. Um, my partner lived in Liverpool for a little bit, actually. Which I'm, I'm a little jealous, not of living there, but having been there. Fado's house. I don't know if it's Fado or Fado. Well, hey, Martin Franny. Got a day off work today, my boy. I'm so sorry for her, goddamn. Not me. The wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Look, see that? Over that tree. You can get a better view by tilting the... And then using... To look around, just by the way. Uh, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Yeah, some Mordon bees built themselves a fine nest up there, and I was thinking about knocking it down. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. This is a great camera angle, by the way. You know where else is bitterly cold? Uh, Canada. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. Oh, your cat's lost. Okay. Oh, it said use the stick to look. That sure is a bee's nest. Antarctica. True. True? True. Oh, I hear monkey. I hear monkey. Y'all hear that monkey? Monkey. Harsh winter. Oh, there's monkey. Monkey baby? Monkey, give back baby. 
Bad monkey. Monkey give baby. got a blue rupee that's worth five rupees how about oh, nope monkey you get back that baby um since i never since i never write my city um how cold has it gotten i don't know if i asked that already cat there's the cat remember they lost their cat Without traveling stories, you've never left your city ever? Come here, cat! I... It won't let me pick up the cat. Maybe if I, like... Here, kitty. Here, kitty. Oh, uh, it will not let me pick it up. It's not even giving me the pickup prompt. Okay. Can we go in this person's house? This is... The story of a girl... Jaggle and Purgy? And Zendaya is Michi! This is where Jaggle and Purgy live. You know, everybody's favorite Zelda characters. Jaggle and Purgy. Oh, dog! Hey, little dog. Hey! Hey there, little dog. You got a little dog mustache. I'm gonna pick you up. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that dog. Link gets so happy when he picks up. So look at Link's face now. Look at Link's face now. And then look at Link's face when he puts down the dog. <laughs> Link's face before the dog. Link's face before the dog. Hold on. Let's get a good angle. Link's face after the dog. <laughs> What'd that dog do? What'd that dog do? Oh, what'd that dog do? All right, you're coming with me. Let's go. Oh, you can't steal the dog. Whoa, Misty! Hello. Uh, thank you for the raid, Misty. We're playing The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Submerged! Is that like, um, Subnautica? Also, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Are you a Zelda fan? A puzzle game. Okay, cool. Is it like, uh, like nautical themed? Hi, Franny. Welcome. If you're looking for my hubby, he took a break from working and went outside. I wouldn't be surprised if he's taking a nap somewhere. He's in the middle of making a shield for Colin's dad, Russell, right at the moment. See it? Right over there. Though it looks like it's far from being done. Sorry you came all this way to find him out and about. I'm washing this octagon. I'm gonna turn it in I'm gonna paint it red and turn it into a stop sign. It's a gorgeous game. The world is covered in water and plants are covered. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for the raid. You don't like that voice, Franny? Uh. Oh, the stop sign. Stop. I get it. Yeah. You don't like octagons? There's all kinds of ways to make money around here. I can definitely feel like they were trying to like bring it back to the vibes of Ocarina of Time. It's just a little... And then the pumpkins grow back really fast. One thing I really like, and you might have seen it before, is like, so here's Link, and here's Link, you know, knee deep and whatever, but as soon as Link gets in the water, it's not like, oh wait, as soon as Link, let's get him wet. There you go. See? His clothes and hair get dark, and he gets all drippy, but then he dries off really fast. We just say the sun is like really intense in this world. Gotta raid and run. Thank you for the raid, though. Check out Misty Vale. That, um, 
That puzzle game sounds exciting. I'll have to check that out. If you have your VODs up, I'll check out your VOD. I'm like getting wet. That's actually, that's Franny getting wet. Oh no. Uh, uh. Uh. That's Franny. Welcome to the you didn't happen to see my little cat out there, did you? <sighs> he ate the fish we were going to have for supper last night. And I gave him good scolding. But then he went out and hasn't returned. No, this is not your mother, Franny. Is this your mother? No, you don't have parents in this game. I'm so fraught with worry for him. I've exhausted myself. You've exhausted yourself, eh? Staring at that bottle of milk. They have, oh, she has all these pictures of her cat. Oh, that's that's her son. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's her daughter. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. The, all, <laughs> one picture of her fucking daughter and then all the cats. And even the, the thing is a cat. That's so funny. Can't believe Summer found my mom. How'd that happen? Are you and Summer like friends on Facebook? Is that how that happens? I feel like I used to like be connected with some No. You gotta get your shit locked up tighter, my my man. I feel like I knew your last name at some point, Franny, but I don't remember it. <laughs> so I guess that's good. Unless you like added me on LinkedIn. Did you add me on LinkedIn? I saw something that was like a view that's like professional. Like you and like I've seen something where it was like your name. I don't remember what. She has a... <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry. You, did you get any pics? I'm just kidding. Hey. Yo, Franny! Yo, up here! I wanna talk to you! Press A while holding L so we can chat! Oh, who's this dude? Oh, he's the guy that's taking a nap. Hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well, as usual. Maybe you can teach my tykes that you gotta press A while L targeting to talk to people from a distance. They don't get it. Uh, what are you talking about? I don't have any buttons. Franny, would your mom like that you're sharing her her anniversary and birth date on my stream? Marsh, I have a question. What is the question? Did you, I did not have a blizzard. No, I wish. There was a big storm, but the it it was a it ended up being a rainstorm, which bummed me out. I wish. And then right after the rainstorm was a cold front. She would give her whole life story for the Q and A. Franny, stop it. Stop giving me ammunition. How much? How many? How many subs is that? So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Franny? Uh, 30? That's mighty low. Yo, there you are. Oh, he opened his eyes. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house, having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's gonna catch a fish, do ya? Huh? <laughs> a cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I mean. What? No, I, I tried to pick up the cat. It wouldn't let me. I got a huge cold for negative 22. That is wild. No, it, it was still, it was below freezing here, but not below zero Fahrenheit. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that grass growing there at the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you, uh, whistling with that stuff? Listen, I'm a grown man and I don't judge. So, uh, just figured I'd give you a little tip. 
if you're interested in sampling some for yourself. All right, and I bet you could hop over these rocks with a quick little flick of that old there control stick there, couldn't you? Mate, I don't know what you're talking about. Boing. Ooh. Good stuff. <coughs> hey guys, <coughs> I'm here to help with the stream. <coughs> Kermit, <coughs> stop taking over my stream. All right, so we're here playing The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. It's uh, my favorite game of all time. Anybody who says that this game is bad is a stupid piece of shit and they should fucking die. Kermit, get out of here! Don't say that kind of stuff on my stream. Oh, shit! No! No! Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Stuff gets a little complicated with roommates, doesn't it? Do you hate when you're sick and your headache doesn't go away? Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Um, that doesn't actually usually happen to me. Stuff happens to me when I get sick, but uh, thankfully I don't get bad headaches. Oh, it doesn't reach. So what happens in this game is that Link smokes weed and then birds come. Just, you know, you ever, does that ever happen to you? Oh, I gotta... <laughs> That's how we do it, isn't it? You have that right now? Ugh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Genuinely, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, yeah. I have a massive headache and it's annoying me even after my nap. Oh, I'm so sorry. That sucks. Are you drinking enough water? Okay, whoops. Are you drinking enough water? Yeah, Kermit, um, Kermit's out of commission for the rest of the stream. So don't, don't worry about him. Give me that baby! <laughs> oh, there's no baby in here. There ain't no baby in here! It's just a cradle! Hey, boss! There ain't no baby in here! Who, um... Who needs this? Do you need this woman who's holding her baby? Or something? Or sandwiches? Oh my! Franny! I've been looking for that cradle! I made it when my first child was born, and I've cherished it all these years. Did you know all this somehow? Did you find it and bring it back to me on purpose? My thanks to you. Oh, I'm sure there's like different dialogue if you talk to her beforehand, and she like tells you it's missing. That's cool. She's like, how did you know? That reminds me. There is something I'm supposed to give you. Do you think you could carry that cradle and come back with me to my house? I haven't had water all day yet. Fangirl, drink water right now. H2O! 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 Where is it? Wait, actually, where is it? H2O! There we go. For me to you. H2O! <laughs> no, Franny! H2O! Water! H2O! My thanks to you, Franny. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. Alright, here you go. Ba -da -da -da!
Welcome to the stream. You got a fishing rod. Ah! You can catch fish. Now you can't do it that much in this game, but it's nice to have. Where was she hiding that? It's a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. She was hiding in the basket, of course. You can use it if you like. She actually isn't pregnant. She just like holds stuff under her belly. That's the real tea. Yeah, smart. And she has everybody do stuff for her. She's like, oh, Link, I can't carry that. And then she gets home and like takes out her bag that she was hiding under her stomach or like under her shirt. Oh yeah, look at all that money. Wouldn't it be funny if we could just pick this up and carry it away again? <laughs> I was gonna say a joke, but I mean, this stream isn't family friendly. You can say whatever you want here. When my son Colin grows up, I want him to be just like you. He really is a sweet boy. He can just be a little timid. <laughs> oh God. What did I say that's D's nuts? D's nuts is gonna be the downfall of this stream. I love how Link just has like one patch of green. It's like, where'd that even come from? I love his character design in this game, but it's also just like, what are you wearing? It's like Luke Skywalker. It's like, you go girl. You wear the fuck out of that, whatever the fuck that is. This house is just like one of those Sims houses you make where it's like, it, like it looks nice, but like the Sims can't actually like navigate in it or do anything. They made this house and you can't even move around in it. What the heck? Oh, we have our items. I forgot. Um... Oh, aww, that's cute. Who's the other kid? Does Colin have a sibling? Wait, why do they look like that? Or is that like for the baby when the baby comes? So there's dad with the mustache. They also look like Kappas. The parents look like Kappas for some reason. This is a cute drawing. Yeah, Zelda's great. All these like little touches are so nice. Oh, the little like horse toy. Oh, that's so cute. The rocking horse. Like made out of wood and like shittily painted. Oh, the cute, the all the details on this room are so cute. Like I said, a Sims, oh, and, and his, his helmet and his sword. Oh, the dad's helmet and the sword are here too. That's so cool. All these little details. That's great. You know which games I'm excited for? Are you excited for Tears of the Kingdom? All right, let's get out of here. They reused the camera sound from Wind Waker. Let's see. Oh yeah, we can fish now. So let's go solve this thing. I'm very excited for Forspoken. Comes out next week. You have a PS5, don't you? Yeah. Did you play the demo? You should play the fucking Ratchet and Clank game that's on PS5 if you can. I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm not getting a PS5 for many years. And and Sony says it's not going to go down in price. So, hello, cat. I have figured out your goals. Check this out. Oh, the, the equip. Wow, that is a big pole. Where does Link keep that? Holy shit. You know what they say, it's not about the size of your pole, it's how you use it. Where are the fish? I feel like this fishing was going to be more complex and then they had to make it a Wii game. Because like the fishing in Twilight Princess, I'm going to be real, is fucking Garbo. I hate it. 
The fishing in Ocarina of Time is so fucking good. The fishing in this game is ass. You caught a green gill. These, and then in Breath of the Wild, you just go into the water. <laughs> Which at least is like more engaging. Like the fishing in this game is so bad. You caught a green gill. These small frogs are everywhere. Press start to check the fish you caught on the collection screen. Oh. Yeah, hey cat. I summoned you, didn't I? Forspoken, yes, Franny. I feel like you might have uh, might have heard me talk about that game maybe a little bit. You might be aware of my my excitement for that game. Come here, fish! I'm gonna catch you through the pier. Hey, it's a green girl. Hey! Oh, <gasps> nani? That cat who wanted a fish got a fish. What's gonna happen now? So the point of this world is to teach you how to solve character interaction puzzles, basically. And like teach you the mechanics of the game, but also teach you like, you know, point A begets point B, which begets point C. Is Majora's Mask the darkest Zelda game? Probably, this is probably the second darkest. Come here, chicken. Oh wait. Um, bum, 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 Nice chicken. It's a cucko, actually. Get it right. I don't know what the singing is. Hello, mm, trebuchet. That's the uh, that's the chocobo song from Final Fantasy. Oh my, Franny! You simply must hear that. Welcome, mm, trebuchet. Are you a Zelda fan? Are you a Zelda fan? Are you a Twilight Princess fan in particular? Welcome. Thanks for chatting. Yes. Are you a Final Fantasy fan too? Oh my Franny, you simply must hear this. Just take a look. My little kitty Franny came back. Wait, your cat is named Franny69 also? Meow? And he brought a fish back with him. He was worried about me being angry. Oh, just look. And he's so cute the way he laps up that milk. Say my dear. Why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. -da 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 -da, except the cat drank some, and that's kind of weird, especially because the cat's name is also my name. Um, I'm more fond of the whimsy of Skyward Sword and, and Wind Waker. I feel that. Twilight Princess does have the best sword play in the series because it has all those fucking combos. So, uh, GameCube, Wii, or Wii U, Twilight Princess. Also, what is your favorite Zelda game? Franny, you don't like that that pussy's named after you? What's wrong? What's the problem there? Oh, don't worry. You don't have to return the empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it. You know, uh, recycling. I didn't read that. I'm sure you'd never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like the whole world was disposable. It's criminal. So what do you say, my dear? Oh, what is your top? Hello? Hello? Anyway, is there anything you want today? If you're interested, take a look. Around with the stick button. I'm editing a cousin's wedding, so... Oh, no, no worries. Um, that's also exciting. I played Twilight Princess on the Wii, but I think the GameCube would have been more satisfying. I see. Um, I think you're right. The second part was, what's your favorite Zelda game? Just in general. This is my mother. This, it, are you like saying like for real? Don't gawk at me. Use the stick button to look at the goods we got for sale. What, does she say don't gawk at me? Oh my God. Yeah, Freddy, don't gawk at your mother. Uh, let's buy the slingshot. I got this for the kids. It's just a toy, but it stings something awful when you get hit by it. Or are you saying my voice? Is that what your mom sounds like? I can't wait in that case. 
What are you doing by a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, I should tell you. If you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. You got the thing. Kids love it. You can hold up to 50 pellets. Set it to the button or the button. In terms of dungeon design, story, art style, characters, is of Groose. I do love Groose. I love Orochimaru and I love Groose. Also, I need that fucking bee larva. I need to empty a bottle to get that bee larva. So you can soon. <laughs> this is the worst gameplay in these years. Oh, you mean Skyward Sword. At least you, you know, I respect you for acknowledging that. As a Skyward Sword fan, I respect the, f I like, the, I respect you as a Skyward Sword fan admitting that Skyward Sword has the worst gameplay in the series. Because it does. Um, maybe not like in the series, like Zelda 2 exists, but yeah. it really, but also I have story problems with Skyward Sword. Um, Wind Waker also kind of has like, I don't know. I like Wind Waker, don't get me wrong. Wind Waker kind of has like rudimentary gameplay where it's like, like, Literally, Wind Waker, you just hold forward and mash B and you win every fight. And then sometimes you press A to parry. It goes better than that! And you press A and then you get a satisfying parry move. Mayor's house. Oh yeah, we haven't been over to the mayor. B oh, okay, wait, we get the slingshot. Right, right, right. I don't know what's going on here. Also, we can climb this. Or do the bees, oh, wait, the bees will sting me. I've played Conker's Bad Fur Day. Can't fool me. Are these gonna be mean to me if I hit them down from here? Yes! Get out of here! <laughs> Leave me alone! The gameplay is Windbreaker. Yeah, it is fun. It's fun. It's a fun game. Not the bees. Not the Franny bees. Um. So then I think we're supposed to get that bee larva, probably. Hey, man. I was watching you, Franny. Yeah, I was throwing rocks too. I just wasn't as successful as you. Good job, United Nations, Dan. What's with your patch, dude? Are you on nicotine or something? Eh, you bought the slingshot, I see. Thanks, my boy. Oh, is that all? Is that all I get? Okay, buddy, thanks. Thank you for thanking me. Uh, what's that bee larva do? <sighs> Delicious. I'm not gonna ask where that milk came from. I'm gonna assume a cow. You got the bee larva, and apparently they are bait on a rod except fucking fishing in this game sucks why do I even need bait fishing in this game is ass okay whatever I'm never gonna use that oops but if I eat I can eat them like solid snake so um who haven't we helped yet the mayor oh can we hit the chicken Uh oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, good. I got you stun locked. Fuck yeah. Oops. Oh, does this not trigger the thing? Oh, does only hitting it with a sword trigger the thing? That sucks. Okay. Oh, hey, Freddy. I don't, I don't, these people don't have consistent voices. Sounds like Fado's handling things at the ranch on his own today. When he's up there alone, I always figure some calamity or another. Whoa! A goat got loose! It's heading for town! Somebody stop it! All right.
good thing nobody saw that. Arg, the tail's precious livestock. That's why I'm uneasy about leaving the ranch in Fado's hands. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. It was Fado's fault. If you plant your feet while you're grabbing it with the A button, you'll calm that goat down real quick. Oi, what the fuck is the A button, mate? If any more goats get loose, you be sure to grab them like that. Whoops. I don't like your tone, Mayor. Let's go in your house. Mm -hmm. Uh? Oh, did you need Ilya for something? Sorry, Sonny, but I was told that if you came by today, I wasn't to let you inside. She's locked herself in her room working like crazy on something or other. Well, ain't that just... Peachy punch. The goats are getting out. The monkeys are causing trouble. Hey! It's another chance to prove yourself, Link! Don't fuck it up this time! Alright, here's me not fucking it up this time. Yeah! Oh, Fado did it again. These goats have been awful skittish lately. You always gotta be on your toes. Sorry about that, Franny. But thanks to you... That goat didn't get away. That Fado. Looks like I'll be garnishing the cost of that goat from his wages. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, we got the kids that slingshot, I guess. That goat got police on his tail, yeah. Cheese it, it's the cops. Link runs really funny in his arms like that. Oh, hey. Ah, just in time, Franny. I just delivered something to your room. That's right, I broke into your house, which, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, it's just carved into a tree. You could just have a house, but you choose to live in a tree. Okay, buddy. Anyway, I broke in and put something in your room. I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, ta-ta. Oh, good, you got the fishing rod. I can see the bulge. Uh, it looks pretty good, don't it? Well, have a good one. See ya. Oh, you got it. I hope you like it. Aren't you off work today, Franny? Uh, should we go see what's in the room or talk to these kids? Ah. Franny has a slingshot! Whoa! Wow, you had enough money to buy it, Franny? Oh, shit. Okay. I should have gone to my room first. Oh, good. It's tutorial time. Time to learn to use the Wiimote. Or if you're playing on the GameCube, you don't have to learn anything. Preparation's complete. Oh, wow. This is great. I don't... What did this kid sound like before? Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. Those two idiots will never shut up about it, so I guess you'll just have to show them, Franny. Um. There's no, like, crosshair on this. Aww. Wow, you hit it. You hit it. I read the manual for this game, and it said that you should use the L button. What the fuck are you all talking about? I thought you weren't interested, Beth. Yeah, headshot. Whoa, sugoi. Like, amazing. Wow, thanks, Franny. Gee, you really are amazing, Franny. By the way, Franny, were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something by here? Like, it's kind of weird that you two hang out so much. Like, is this like a euphoria situation? Like, are you like fucking Colin's dad? Okay, like, I'm just gonna say it because like, we're all thinking it, right? Like, we're all thinking that Franny is fucking Colin's dad, right? Beth, what the fuck are you talking about? 
Oh yeah, that's right. What was that anyway? It was like... <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> we are partners. I command you to tell us. What did Colin's dad bring? Oh yeah, I can't stop thinking about it. Show me. Hurry up. Hurry up. Alright, let's go. Ah, spider! Get the fuck out of here! Hmm. Eh, pretty weird. Never seen that before. Sure, it's fine. Why are there spiders on my house? Get out of my house, spider. Got him. Yeah, that's totally normal for things to do that. Spiders always make that thing when you kill them. Time to live in a tree. This feels very forced. It feels like because of Ocarina of Time, he lives in a tree, so he has to live a tree in this game. <laughs> I left something in your room. Oh boy, did you? Dun, dun, dun. Wow! You gave me a, a big stick. You got the wooden sword. It's easy to use. Just press that B. It's a sword. I think I'm gonna swap the... Yeah. It's a sword. It's a sword. Okay, it's a sword. Which actually, let me save. Just in case I gotta... Oh my god, I love this fuck these save sounds. Like they remind me of like the first time I ever played this game. I'm just swapping um to the buttons. To better fit my gaming needs. Look, we got a sword now. Look at this shit. But you ain't never seen a guy swing around a big old wooden sword like this before. How do you do that on GameCube? Cut grass? Oh, <laughs> I just go into the console BIOS. That's all. Yeah. That's all, that's all, no big deal. Ooh, what's under this rock? It's a hidden rock. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Hey, Colin. Garfield, fi Garfield finally has a day off too. Thank God, she hates Mondays. Oh my, I love that big stick of yours, Freddy. Wow, she's right. Can I see him for a second? Wow, these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. No, shut up. Oh, gee, why not? Get off your high horse and show us. Uh, I'll show these kids how to swing a sword in a second. Because I want to show you all this first. You said you liked this cuck before, right, Franny? Oh, shit, I fucked it up. Oh, no, my cuck. You got the seeds! Uh, there's another one. Yeah. Alright. To defeat the cuck, one must become the cuck. That's it. <laughs> I think that's fun. Uh, where's my house? Oh, I can. I should go to the store. Uh. 
Welcome, my dear. Oh, she just sells milk and bee larva. Where does this milk come from? We haven't had confirmation of that. Cat's here! Hello, cat. How you doing? You like Zelda? How's Pokemon Unite going? Cat too saggy. Oh. Is that how it's said? I thought it was soggy. Two. Too saggy, too furious. She loved it when I told her about Breath of the Wild. Hell yeah. I fucking love that you're playing Breath of the Wild. Come on, be a pal, Franny. Teach us how to use a sword. No, that's just how they say my name. Okay. Is it soggy? Katsu soggy? Yeah. Yes. All right. First off, we want to see that move. The slice! Uh, you just swing with the B button, right? I told you, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah! yeah. Seems like you already know this, kid. Wow, a horizontal slice. Was that it? Was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice before, too. You know, by pressing B while out targeting. All right, next. Oh, oh, I want to see that other move, Franny. Uh, the one where you just, like, tilt up on the stick while you're L-targeting, and you press the B button to flex your muscles, and then stab. Oh, please. The stab. I agree that Franny needs to play a lot more Switch games. Franny Switch 2023. We all want Franny to be a Switch. Oh, Franny, just amazing. Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know, that little twirly thing you do? Yeah, I love that. That's so fabulous. What do you call that? Like a spin attack? Oh, like it's hard to briefly hold the B button and release it. Are you all in on something? I don't, I'm, I'm losing it. As if I ever had it. I already am, lol. Oh, wow. Thanks, Franny. I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait! You gotta show I did dump a tag before you go! You know, the one where you go, yeah, and jump through the air! You mean the one where you just hold the L button and then press the A button on your Nintendo GameCube controller? Oh yeah, real tough. Uh, like this? Yeah! So when you spin when you attack, that is indeed a spin attack. <laughs> yes, Freddy, you've divined it. That's correct. Thanks, Franny. Noah, uh, I think I get it. Kinda. Mm, maybe not. So this means that any time one of those naughty monkeys shows up. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> eh. Show me that butt. Come here, you! Wait, don't do that. Oh, boy. What could possibly go wrong? Come here. Oh, what are you doing, Colin? Okay, Google, show me this guy's butt, please. Everyone went into the woods. I wonder if they're okay. What if we just, like, go the opposite? Holy shit, we can... Just like anybody know their kids are missing or what? Must be nice having bee larva. Do you, do you like want somebody? Ew, Link! I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, bee larva. Must be nice. So, do you like want some? I don't understand. Is there a way to, like, give him the bee larva? Huh. Hmm. Anyway, let's- I guess let's go find those kids. How- what was the bee larva guy? I, now I'm- now I'm curious about this. Bee larva guy, Twilight Princess. Can we give him the bee larva? Hunch. How do you give the bee Okay, somebody asked this in the Twilight Princess form. How do you give the guy the bee larva?
Uh, it doesn't seem like you can give the guy the bee larva. Then present the bottle to him. How? What? Yeah. So he goes and knocks down the fucking bee larva on the Wii. I'm watching somebody do it. Okay, you get the you get the V larva in the bottle. Must be nice having V larva. Must be nice having B larva. You eat the B larva. Oh, B larva. Must be nice. The video is a lie. You don't give him the fucking bee larva. Franny bee larva, damn it. <laughs> I watched that, that, I didn't watch the whole video, I scrolled through it. You can't give the guy the bee larva. It's, it's fake. Totally fiction. Yeah, I thought that kid would like put up an invisible wall or something, but nope. It's just a, just a suggestion, I guess. He's not gonna stop us, what's he gonna do? He's a kid. Now, why they gotta chase that monkey, huh? What's going on here, kid? Link, slow your horse. Tallow and Mallow went chasing like crazy people after that monkey. I can't keep up with those two. They went that way. The rest is up to you, Franny. Let's go. Hello, Lissa. How you doing? I love that little frog. Ooh, we're in the Faron Woods. Ooh, what'd you get at the Chinese buffet? That sounds so yummy, I'm jealous. I had pizza today, that was pretty fucking good. I had New York pizza, I drove all the way to New York and back today. I'm glad I brought the horse here. Imagine if we just walked here. That would have fucking sucked. Good thing I brought the horse. This is so pretty! Hold on. Can we just... Look at this. Look at this, this was on the GameCube. Hold on, hold on. This was on the GameCube. Google, show me this game's beautiful waterfall. Look at how fucking pretty this is for the fucking GameCube. Screech up? Oh, my screech up buttons work. Shit. Neither of my screenshot buttons work. <laughs> oh wait, I have a... There we go. I'm using my Nintendo GameCube mouse to point out all the, the beautiful parts of this waterfall. Don't go Jason Waterfalls. Yeah. Listen, I had a boyfriend named Jason Waterfalls. Let's go. Enough gawking. Tender love and care, yes. Can we shoot our... Oh, we can. Look at that. Hmm. Forest Temple Path. It's pitch dark ahead. Parties interested in going forward must first go this way. I trust ya. Oh, they're right. There's a map, too.
Oh yeah, the Franny emotes. Uh, you're a birds in your hair person. Excuse me, there's birds in your hair. Did you know that there's a bird nest in your hair? And also that you're wearing a diaper? Whoa! An Aldonian! Hey, guy! Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. These are a ton of caves and dark spots around here. They get pretty dark, even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy. Think of these. You got the thing. You gotta use the buttons. Use it once to light it and press A while standing still to put it out. You won't be able to use it without oil, so make sure to refill it. See, I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try setting a fire under that big pot. Well, everybody's heard about the bird. Ba 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 Surfing. Hold on. Oops. Get get out of here, game capture. Hold on. All right. Oh, the game's happening in the background, isn't it? I should probably turn that down. All right. Is that right? I don't believe that. H2O. Thank you. Not ukulele. Oh, that's why. Okay. So it's like... And then it's like, one, two, three. Okay. I'm, I'm trusting this random website that I looked up for the chords to bird is the word. Well... Everybody's heard about the bird, ba 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 bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word, ba ba bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word, a well a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word, a well a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word, a well a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word, a well a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word, a well. Don't you know about the bird? March is gonna tell you that the bird is the word, a well a bird, bird. But bird is the bird, a well a bird. Well, everybody's heard about the bird. A well, a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. A well, a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Bird, bird. Bird is the word. A well, a bird, bird. Bird is the word. A well, a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. A well, a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. A well, don't you know about the bird? Mars is gonna tell. Whoops. What's that? Oh, here. 
I'm going to tell you that the bird is the word. Well, a bird, bird, but bird is the word. Well, a bird. Surfing bird. Well, don't you know? Whoops. <laughs> don't you know about the bird? Ain't you gonna tell you that the bird's the word? Oh, well, a bird, 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 bird the word. Oh, well, a bird. Blues ending. Wow. That was so good. I can't believe I did that shit. I tried to do like a strumming, like a, hold on. Now that I, if I'm not singing... Cause that's, I don't like the A chord. A is like the fucking worst chord. Like I can't sing over that. Like I can't be like, burr, burr, burr. like I can't do that. But I could be like, I don't know. It's hard. That's a, that's a deceptively hard song. That's, that's only a one chord for most of it. Thanks for tolerating that. Hello, Maxine. Surfing bird, baby. Great job. Thank you. I said you did a great job. I said you did a great job. Thank you. Woo. Oh, thank you. Now we go back to gaming. Why did I do that? I don't know. Why not? <sighs> Mamma mia. That's right. See? <laughs> it's on fire, guy. You keep using that lantern anytime you feel the need. And if it runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled. Why was I, why were we doing that even? How did we get there? Oh, because the bird, the bird in his hair. Right, of course. Hmm, sus. That's a big, big old sussy rock too. Sussy rocka. Boo. Boo. My follower count. No. Uh, what happens if I light these? Yeah. Get that money, get that money, get that money. Hmm. Huh. We can't reach. Gee, I wonder if a different form could reach that. Like, I don't know. Like a wolf or something. Get the fuck out of here, I'm gonna kill you. Give me that nut. Whoa, you found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. That's probably bad, right? Oh, we don't even pick it up. <laughs> you found it, but you don't pick it up for him. You just assume the worst. Now see, when I remember when I was like, Zelda's all about exploring. Like this to me is not like a dungeon area. This is just like, you know, you explore Zelda and sometimes there's caves. Oh shit, my house! There's a thing in my house I gotta remember. Um, 
There's a thing in my house I gotta remember. Also, I love that you can put the lantern on your belt. It's such a nice little feature. Aha! What do we do here? I wonder. Not really, though. I don't actually wonder. What the fuck is this thing? A rat? Yo, it's embarrassing! How's it going, embarrassing? What was, um, what'd you have for dinner? I'm just always curious about what people are eating. You don't have to tell me, but I'm always curious. One time I was in a Discord with somebody and they talked about going out like for food and I was like, what'd you get? And they wouldn't tell me and I was like, why? <laughs> like you have every right not to tell, but like you started talking about having your yummy dinner. Chicken Alfredo, nice. much chatting holy shit we did your chat's gone because I, I remember knowing that you were off to eat dinner anyway I hope the chicken alfredo was good oh I don't have any oil left I'm burning my oil Ooh, a yellow rupee it's 10 rupees okay we gotta be more conservative with our oil bonk and bonk Let's go, let's go. Oh, Zad, okay. Ooh, that sounds good, honestly. See, those things outside the caves are just drawings, but they look like full 3D environments. That's like some Wile E. Coyote shit. Oh, yay, now we're over here, and this happens. <laughs> this game does have some redundant parts. Like, we get to go through this part like three different times. Get out of here, monster! Grr. Now, there's a lot going on over here. That's for certain. I hear scary sounds. I hear like a scary, like monsters wanna fight. Ooh, toaster through roll. I have a Pop-Tart in the freezer that I'm gonna eat later. I'm so fucking excited. Whoa, get out of here, buckaroo. Yeah, the fighting in this game is fucking satisfying. We had a new chatter earlier talking about how fucking satisfying the fighting in this game is. We're gonna be playing this game as a series, by the way. This is gonna be a regular game. That was mm, Trebuchet who said that before. Yeah, we're gonna be playing this as a regular game. Um, maybe every Monday, maybe twice a week. But Twilight Princess is gonna be in the rotation. This is not a one-off. Um, tomorrow night... We are doing a GameCube variety stream. And then probably Wednesday will probably be Pokemon Coliseum. And then I don't know what we'll do on Thursday night. But Twilight Princess will be at least once a week, probably Monday nights. I've played this game before. You started playing recently? Is it your first time? Far assemble ahead, got enough lantern oil? Without a key, you cannot proceed. Hmm. The last time I played this game, though, uh, was probably about 10 years ago. Like, before the HD version came out. No, I've played it at least three times. I fucking love this game. I have such fond memories of, like, the year this game came out. Because I didn't have a Wii yet, but I got this game for Christmas that year, like 2006. So we didn't get a Wii, but I did get Twilight Princess. I had been waiting for this game. Like, this was the most I'd probably ever been hyped for a video game in my life at the point that it came out. I have all the Nintendo powers that had, like, coverage of this game leading up to the release. I actually have, like, I literally have them in this room. Um, I have every Nintendo power issue from, like, May 2005 until they stopped publication. I gotta get a key, I think. Let's see. 
Is this the cave I came from? No, it's not. Nice fucking hole. Get out of here. I know I can just hit them with my sword when they're that close. Get out of here too! It feels better to play on a PC with an Xbox controller. Oh, you had the Wii version. Yeah, that's the thing. I had been so hyped for the GameCube version. I was excited to get it on the GameCube. And the GameCube version is like the originally intended version and the Wii version is kind of like a port. Please share. They also made the Wii U version, but I don't have that. I have the Wii, Wii U version of Wind Waker. You got the small key. Is this money? You got a piece of heart. In this game, they upgraded a piece of heart from four pieces to five pieces because they put so much shit in the world. But at the same time, the world still felt empty. Both this game and Twilight Princess kind of had empty overworld syndrome. And then they made Breath of the Wild. I think even for people who criticize Breath of the Wild, you can't say that Breath of the Wild has an empty overworld. Whoops. Hello, Link. Come on. Now I want to go this way. I'm using the mini-map, because I feel like this part of the game is kind of designed for the mini-map. Ooh, give me that money. I love how in this game you can swing swords while you're running. It's so fucking satisfying. What's up here? Um. Oh. There's a thing up there. I feel like you get there from another place, yeah. Wait. Okay, fair enough. Get out of here. Ah. I'm gonna kill you! I, I kind of... I remember feeling like Bokoblins were like, sort of the beginning of like, Zelda enemies becoming generified. Cause you didn't have any generic grunt enemies in Ocarina of Time. You did have moblins, but moblins are more like obstacles to avoid than enemies to fight. And then Wind Waker is just like, here's Bokoblins, they're all over the world, and you hit them like two or three times and they die. Okay. Is that like challenging, or does that just give me something I can press B at a bunch of times? Let's get the key. Anyway, the combat in this game is satisfying, so fighting the Bokoblins is a little bit better. Oh, I love that emote, by the way. Malio. T-A-S Malio. Dude, I didn't know who that is. I don't think I could send it through the mail. Excuse me, do you accept Alfredo? The sauce would, ugh. Especially air mail. Blech. This, look at how fucking pretty this fucking game is. You go through here and it's like, whoa, look how cool this is. This game is so fucking pretty. Now what's this? Oh, that's right, the Tattlebird. Trill shop, make payment at the box near the shopkeeper. Imagine opening it up. That feels like an it's always sunny thing. Hey, punish the evil doers. Wait, what the fuck, what did I do? I didn't do nothing. Wait, it's only supposed to do that if... Hold on. This is a glitch.
Yeah, it's a glitch. It thinks I'm um it thinks I'm an enemy. It will fuck you up if you don't give it money, but that's not that's what I was going to show. Huh? The evil doers are all gone? Wait, are you a customer? Oh, okay, that's not a glitch. It just thought I was an enemy. Oh, sorry, so sorry. Please forgive me. I hate that. I really thought that was a glitch. Welcome. Hey, buy something. Anything. If you insist. Wait, is that not lantern oil? What is this? Lantern oil. Yeah. Give me that. You got oil in your lantern. Oh, you want $20 for that? How about you get nothing? Hey, you over here. Money. Put some money in. No, that's okay. Now what happens when I go back there is that it's going to be mad at me and it might attack me. Let's go see. Yep. <laughs> so we can't go back to that store. There's something like that in Link's Awakening too where like you can steal but then they'll punish you for it. Get out of here! I like when he kicks open the chest. With his bare feet. You've got the money. All right. Look at that. Whoa, it looks like a mouth. Oh, ah, that kid's not a monkey. That's just a kid. Poor kid. Why you steal that monkey and child? Alright, stop whining. Help, let me out of here, please. Check this shit out. Yeah. That was the monkey that stole the, uh, Cradle, by the way. Yeah. If you hadn't come, Fanny. Gee, me and that monkey would have gotten eaten. Probably. She's actually a pretty nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Um, Fanny? You're not gonna mention this to my dad, are you? He's always telling me to never ever go in the forest because he says it's dangerous. So, you really can't tell him. Really, you have to promise. Wait. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, Franny! I don't know who that is. Oh, it's, it's, it's Colin's dad. My son told me Talo disappeared into the woods and had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you have brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed how strange this wood feels lately? I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Anyway, Franny, tomorrow is finally the day. You will be departing for Hyrule. I think it is a good thing I have given this task to you. Good luck and return safely. If you are lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. Ha, ha, ha. Well, thank you, embarrassing. I'm going to drink some water, actually. But first, it's time to herd more fucking goats. Hey, hey Freddy. Stop doing whatever you're fucking doing in that field and come help me. So, uh, almost time for you to get going, huh, Franny? So, uh, how's about we finish early today, bud? Gotta get them chores done. If y'all wanna get them ghosts back into the barn, then climb up on Garfield and holla at me. Oh, there we go. This one. Hey. 
Okay then, let's get started. And the base keeps running, running. Oh, it's timed. Huh, what's the matter? It's timed. Get in that there barn now, y'all. Y'all come back now inside the barn now, y'all. Come back now inside, y'all now. Come back here. You hear? Y'all get inside that motherfucking barn or I'll fucking kill you. You stupid goats. I wonder who has the fucking world record for fucking Twilight Princess goat herding. You stupid goat, no one likes you. Oh my god, all these goats just hanging out here for no reason. Get inside the barn! Oh, you came back just in time for goat herding. The most exciting part of any Zelda game when you herd goats. Embarrassing, what's your favorite part of Twilight Princess? Also, is Twilight Princess your favorite Zelda game? Get out of here, you silly goat. I am also coincidentally right now playing with an Xbox controller. Though I do have, I've thought about getting one of those like um, GameCube controller receivers for the PC, but I'm not that enamored with the GameCube controller that I need to do that. I know some people like love the GameCube controller. Yay! Sub two minutes. WR, WR, WR. Oh boy, but y'all can heard that was 109 faster than usual. Well, that about wraps her up for today. So how about y'all head on over to the mayor's place? I got a world record. You didn't even give me a prize. Gadzooks. Oop, here we go. Look at Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome over here. Oh. Uh. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally. Oh. <laughs> Oh, done hurting for the day for any? Well, nice work. The royal gift Russell told you about is ready. So you should get ready for your trip to Hyrule Castle. Now, the royal family requested this gift specifically, so it's real special. It'd be bad if the representative of Orden were to be late for such an occasion. You get me, lad? The path before you is a long one, my sweet horse. But please bear Franny safely along it. Wait, what's this? What happened? She's injured, isn't she? Franny, how could you? You were pushing Garfield too hard again. I told you that she's lazy and likes to eat lasagna and won't work on Mondays. Now, now, Ilya. There's no need to get so hot with him. Father! How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor. You should start acting like one. You poor thing. <laughs> It'll be all right, Garfield. I'll take you to the forest spring right now. Once we soothe you in the spirit spring, you'll feel better in no time. Uh? Whoa, wait. Ilya, why, without Garfield, the gift won't get delivered in time. Oh, this won't do. Warrior Cats. I have never heard of that series, I think. What's a father to do? There's no way you'll be able to deliver our town's gift without Garfield. Whoa, a goat! You better stop it, Link! 
All right, we got this. 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 Stop! Sorry to always be putting you through this, Franny. Well, you better get going and figure out what you're going to do about Garfield. Maybe you should bring some lasagna or something. Maybe you can head up to where Ilya is and see if she won't give the horse back. Let's go inside the mayor's house, please. It's locked. Well, ain't that some shit. Oh, we got wet. Oh, hello there, Franny. Are you going to start preparing for your departure? It'll seem lonely here where you're gone in Hyrule. You must promise to take care of yourself and try not to do anything beyond your abilities. The time has come. Well, Franny, can I at least interest you in one serious sword session once you return from Hyrule? You have talent with a blade. If you were to get proper instruction, I bet you could be a very skilled swordsman. You can let me know once you return, but I want you to give it some serious consideration. Son. This game is so fucking pretty! Like, I can't get over it. This game is like, how many years old? This game is so pretty, like 16 years old? This game is fucking pretty. Yo, Franny. Sorry if my little tykes were causing you trouble yesterday. I gave him a ferocious scolding, so I hope you forgive him. Oh, and hey, you be careful on your trip to Hyrule Castle, Franny. I hope it was just a scolding. I hope that's not euphemistic for something. Let's go up here. I don't think we went up here. I don't think we went up here. What's this? Just pumpkins? Ooh, what's up here? Put your sword away, Link. What's up on this hat? Ooh, there's a yellow, oh, yellow rupee. And we can call a hawk. Ooh. Hmm, where can we toss this hawk? To get that yellow rupee for us? Like that's the only thing I can think of. We already took care of those bees. Maybe this was like another solution for the bees before getting the slingshot. Will this get the uh, rupee for us? No. Okay. It's about cats who are warriors. That makes sense. Is it like, uh, no, because Animorphs was about kids who become animals. No, Link! How do I get that gosh darn rupee? It's not about the money, Spider-Man. We roll in a tree as this stuff happen. No. Oh. <laughs> yep. We love when stuff happens. Uh, okay, that we can't go over. I can kind of see how this was the same game engine as Mario Sunshine when I think about it. Will this chicken help us? Like, how do we get up here? How do we get up there? Well, is what it is. Uh, let's go talk to those kids, though. I don't really want to go fishing. Fishing in this game is busted. I wonder if we can get into uh, uh, Fado's house. Dog's here. What that dog do? Hi, Franny. I've heard a rumor about you. So you're gonna go to Hyrule Castle. Hey, isn't that just incredible? How wonderful for you! But I suppose I should be apologizing to you for the trouble Talo and Mallow caused you yesterday. 
They're a mischievous pair, but they'll always be a pair of angels to their father and me. Thank you so much. Fanny, you take care, and you come back safe. Uh, yeah. Will do, ma'am. Let's get out of here. Don't tell Tallow and Mallow I came by here. Their names are like those characters from Ocarina of Time. All right, let's see. That guy's gonna be like, I wish I had the bees. The bees. The beeswax. Oh, Franny, I hear you leaving on an errand for the mayor today. Must be nice going on errands. Me, I'm restocking the store again today. That is an errand, buddy. Nope, it's locked. This is something I always loved about Zelda. The dialogue changes so much. Oh, Franny, back again. My dear, I heard you're going to the castle. Is that true? Why, how nice. I'm sure the shops in Castletown are quite ritzy. So, you shopping again today? You just came to see my pretty face. Don't gawk at me. Oh, wait, that's B. See you again soon. Oh, I love my cat. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Alrighty, let's go. Oh, Colin. Huh? Franny, are you going to see Ilya? Maybe it's just me, but those guys don't normally let people through. Um, Franny, do you think we can go see Ilya together? Jeez, what is this drama? Franny, hello again. Uh, uh, you're going to Hyrule Castle, aren't you, Franny? That must be so nice. I want to go to Hyrule, too. I mean, there's nothing that looks good on me in this town. Come back soon, Franny. When you get back, you have to tell me all about Castletown. Oh, yeah, a lot of characters have double dialogue, too. So if you talk to them twice, they'll say different things. I don't always have to read the dialogue, but I like dialogue in games. All right, now we can go down here. I can't forget about this. You got the money. You'd completely forgotten it. Just like my basement. Oh, is that a mirror? If it is, oh wait, it does work. Whoa, look at that mirror. Cool. I feel like that loads a different area. I feel like there's loading that goes on there when you climb that ladder. We. Uh, where's my horse? Oh yeah, Ilya has it. Hey, we've been waiting for you, you know, Franny. Yesterday was so much fun. Yeah, teasing that monkey was great. I was just telling Mallow about how we wanted to show it to him, but we let it go instead. Oh, you didn't get caught, Tallow? Oh, Colin, way to spoil everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. We got scolded by our dad something awful. I thought it was never going to end. <laughs> I bet you're trying to go see Ilya, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going to let you pass. Oh, hey, neat, Franny. Let me borrow that wooden sword. If I'd had that wooden sword yesterday, I could have handled it all alone. Definitely. Come on! Let me borrow that wooden sword right now. Oh, leave me the fuck alone, kid. Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! With this thing, I'll show him. <laughs> Franny? Thanks. Those guys are always teasing me. What's so fun about swinging something like that around anyway? I hate it. It's scary. But when I grow up, I'm going to be just like you, Franny. I don't want to learn about swords or anything, but could you teach me how to ride a horse sometime? Can you? You have to promise. And then he just runs away. I guess we don't actually have to promise. 
So that's funny, the youth grow up in different ways. All right, let's... Come back soon, Franny, okay. Whoops. Check out these sword moves, Mallow. If I'd had this wooden sword yesterday, I could have caught that naughty monkey, don't you think? Weren't you just telling me how you did catch the monkey? With Franny? Uh, yeah, um, anyway, practice. Time to practice. All right, let's leave that scene and go to this scene. Are we locked out again? Because I don't want to do that rigmarole again. Really? Come on. We already did this. Let's go first person. We got the money. We got the money. We got the money. We got the money. There's our horse. Of course. I had no idea. I hadn't heard the details of Otello's capture. But Colin. still prefer your master over me, huh, Garfield? Hi, mortal killer, what's up? Don't worry about your horse, Franny. Fortunately, it looks like the injury isn't too serious. You two can go together. Ooh, house flipper, how are you enjoying that? Or have you not, you haven't been streaming lately, have you? But Franny, can you at least promise me this? I love this game. No matter what happens on your journey, don't try to do anything out of your league, please. Just come home safely. E Whoa, what's happening? Oh, this is probably bad, huh? They shoot her with an arrow and then bonk me in the head. Why do they do this? Is it because we smacked the shit out of them at the monkey at the temple? I actually never really got why they do this. Oh, right, because they're with the Twilight. That's why. I don't really get what Ilya has to do with that, but. It has to do with me. Creating a situation for me. Thank you, Franny. Yeah, I mean, of course, Link's gonna take an action, right? Ooh, gee, it looks like it's almost twilight. What's what's happening here? What's, uh... Hey! <laughs> Normal. Normal. Normal! Yeah. Normal shit. Hi. What's up? What's that thing on his hand mean? Oop. Oop. They nerfed that animation. It looks so much better in the original demo or the original trailer. Oh, sleepy. Awoo. Awoo. 
You know, some people don't like this game because of the wolf. I get it, but. Ooh, who's that? What could that be? Who could that be? Do you want to save? That sounds like a good idea. So, I actually want to show the original Twilight Princess trailer now. Because um, it shows a lot of stuff that was that we just saw, but like the um, the like development version of it. Okay, here's here's a trailer that's in 360p because it was posted 13 years ago. I hope it has sound. Yeah. So originally the Twilight Realm was more black and white. Here's the portals in the sky. Monsters fall out. Who's who's that? Here's, that's a scene we don't see. The dad walking up to Colin. Colin teaching us how to crawl. We don't see that either. Here's Link. Oh, spoilers. He puts the green clothes on. Who's, who's that? Who's that? That could be anyone. Here's Link. And he walks in. And see? It like morphs. That looks so much better. That looks so much better. Hold on, let's see that in slow motion. I feel like that, like that looks so much better than what it looked like in the final game. He shakes his head and the wolf comes out with its eyes looking like that. And then his hair disappears and then his hat like morphs into his mane. That looks so much better. The final game, it just like sort of like comes out of him and it doesn't look good. Anyway. Okay, so you do see him pass out. So he was always going to pass out. This mysterious character. Okay, and see, it's like black. I loved like the black and white idea where the only thing that would stick out was like Midna's hair. Oh, and see, there's okay. There is a surprising amount of like story stuff that did stick, I can see. Okay, we're gonna see this action pack sequence later. There's Ilya. Oh, the spring, wait, the spring looked way different. Also, they're like only showing stuff from the beginning of the game. I feel like the spring looked way different. It's a lot more blue here, where in the final game, it's very, very green. There's Ilya. There's Franny's mom. Oh, there's the boat that you don't get to ride around in the final game. There's the bird. There's the goat herding. And there's the forest temple, which we will see. Yeah, so it's basically just like the beginning of the game that they had worked on. Or at least like, you know, had in a showable state. I'm sure they were working on more. So a lot of that actually, a lot of that actually is in the final game. Um, but the, the wolf animation just like, I don't know. I feel like the wolf animation ended up disappointing me when I because I remember I watched that trailer over and over and over and over and over and over again. Let's turn the light back on. And so it just, you know, at the when the game came out I was like this is a downgrade. This what's with these what's with these puddles in uh <laughs> these puddles in in fucking um Spider-Man. What's the deal? All oh, right. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So, 
If you haven't figured it out yet, that was uh, that's the end of tonight's Zelda stream. It's just I got started a little late. I'm a little burnt out. I had a busy day, so I think we'll maybe pick up some Zelda later this week and not just delay it all the way till next week. Um, so I think what we'll do is GameCube variety stream tomorrow. Um, GameCube variety stream tomorrow. Then Pokemon Coliseum on. Wednesday, and then more Twilight Princess on... There we go. More Twilight Princess on Thursday. I think that's fair. Or maybe we'll do both. Maybe Thursday will be like combination... I'm at the Pokemon. I'm at the Zelda. I'm at the combination Pokemon and Zelda. We'll see how it shakes out. All right. We'll see. You know, I've been excited about Lil Gator Game. And I see that Killer Draco is playing Lil Gator Game. So, whoops. We're gonna um, actually hop on into Killer Draco because I'm excited for Lil Gator Game. But I do want to shout some people out before we go. First of all, SubSum94 is playing Peppa Pig. So you gotta check her out for sure. Also, shout out to Misty Vale for the raid earlier. Check them out playing Submerged. I know I'm going to. And shout out to you for being here. Everyone who was here, everyone who chatted, everyone who's just viewing, lurking, whatever you do. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited because we're going to raid into Killer Draco. Thank you, Maxine. Thank you. Didn't you um give something? Maybe that was last night. But thank you for being here. Your presence is a gift. Thank you for being here. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being there. Yeah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'm so excited to rate Killer Draco with Little Gator Game. Um, did I do the socials plug? I did. Oh, raid. I keep forgetting to do these. So if you're not subbed, go ahead and copy that to your clipboard. And if you are subbed, go ahead and copy that to your clipboard. You'll have the emotes. Look. It has the juice. I'm pretty hyped to raid Killer Draco. Um, so that's the rest of this week's schedule. I will post it on Discord and I will post it on Twitter. We're doing GameCube Variety Stream Tuesday. Pokemon Coliseum Wednesday. And then Zelda Pokemon Coliseum Mix on Thursday. Big stream, maybe. GameCube, GameCube, it's GameCube week, baby! Happy 7th anniversary to the Mars stream! 7 years strong, 7 years stronger, we'll still be here in 2030. I definitely won't have any hair by then. Alright, have a good night. I'll see you next time.